Hi guys, so welcome back to Danny Keeping It Real. I am in holiday prep. So this video is everything that I will tend to do before I go away. I'm flying off to Dubai. And I don't know what it is with us girls. We have to deal with the nails. Like, so I've taken all my nails off. Oh my God, my, my hands are disgusting, Kaylee. Do they? I've got like men's builder hands without my nails. I can't function them without my this nails. This is Kaylee. Hi. So Kaylee is one of my best friends, but she's also everything in my life with beauty. My nails, um, she does like waxing. Well, I've never actually had my noon wax by Kaylee before because I used to have laser hair, but you can't have laser hair when you're pregnant. So this is the first time I'm getting my nun waxed. People don't know what nun is either. So nun basically in Essex. Vajay. It's what? Vajay, Vajay. We call it lots of different things, don't we? Yeah, Vajay J. Lulu. Lulu, yeah. Yeah, but we call it nun. Nun. So I'm going to get my nun waxed. Obviously, no one wants a hairy nun around the pole in Dubai. And prepping for when the baby's. I'm prepping for when the baby, yeah, I didn't think, because basically I can't actually see my noon right now where I'm shaving. So right now we are prepping for the noon. Oh, I can't even, this is really awkward angle. Magic towel today. So we have to put magic towel on. Why magic towel? Because I just feel like when you say the word magic towel, it makes people feel like it's not going to hurt as oh. much. Kay, <laughs> fucking, are you I laugh when people are in pain. I think I've got something wrong with me. I can't go. I can't. I can't. You, to, you can't go around like this anymore. <sighs> oh my god, one, two. Oh fuck! Oh no. I'm doing my breathing. We're only halfway through. <laughs> so we'll put just had a Hollywood. Hollywood, yeah. That's good. That is good because at one point you did say, um, stop, I can't take it no more. <laughs> oh, Joel's oh. here. Joel's had to come here because my hair extensions didn't turn up this morning. So it's all go, basically. It's all go, go, go. I feel very Essex. I think I look more Russian. I like them hot Russian girls with like the long nails and the long blonde hair. But this is what Joel puts in. Everyone asks me what hair extensions do I have. So I use, what do I use? Beauty These works. are the Beauty Work Slimline come, Tights. Come down, Joel. Beauty Work Slimline Tights in shade 61318. We normally put um, one, well, we put, normally put one pack in, but you're going for three packs today. Am I? Check mm. me going all out. The nun has finally calmed down. It's not on fire anymore. <laughs> Joel, you'd you can actually sit down. <laughs> I can sit down now. So yeah, I love getting my glam on. So we have finished the hair. Went a little bit longer. I love it, Joel. He's so good, come here. He is hair god, aren't you? I am. Check him out on his Instagram. I'm gonna put his Instagram here now, guys. So we are literally gonna be taking off in about 20 minutes. I've gotta be quick. Um, if you're wondering what I've got on, I've come fully prepared. I've had my face mask on the whole time I've been in the airport. And I've literally, well, I've done pretty much most of this in the last two days, anyway. So yeah, we're gonna enjoy our last trip together as just the two of us. So next time, we'll have a little baby. Bambina. Little baby crying. I don't think we'll have as much, I know, I don't think it'll be a peaceful flight next time. So um, next time you see us guys, we will be touched down in Dubai. So I always think when you are expecting, it's quite nice to have something that pulls in just above where your bump starts. So it accentuates the bump. 
This is actually from ASOS. And I've just teamed it with a plain black bikini. And these are the new Balmain sliders that this one got me. By the way, this is the first time he's ever worn sliders. How are you feeling? Oh, man. Normally he wears trainers. I've told him he's trainers gonna be, are still here. I told him he's going to be a dad now, so it is all about the sliders. Yeah. So an accessory just a little hat because I think because it's the first day, I want to keep my face out of the sun. It's got my initials on. Don't know if you can see that. All ready for our first day. You ready? Go. So my feet are swollen because of the heat. He's now having to hold my... I was done, you like them. No, I love them. Yeah. I can't wear them. Are you joking? Look. I tried leading around the pool once. Oh. And I can't walk because I'm actually chafing. <laughs> this is exactly what I needed. Oh, my feet. They feel a bit bigger now. Yeah. <laughs> they don't look right. I've got another square chocolate for doing this. Yeah, you do. Mr. Chocoholic. Why do you love chocolate so much? It makes me think alright, doesn't it? What chocolate? Could I have another square chocolate? <laughs> you just banned me from having a bit, so... It's because we're going out for dinner in literally an hour. Two hours. 50, about... 50 minutes. Flipping hell. When I have 50 minutes and you started tucking your way into a big bag of crisps and dairy milk. Oh, sweets then. No. That's nice though. Thank you. I appreciate this. First night and I couldn't make it out. But room service, it is. We're happy, aren't we? How happy you are with your pizza? I'll be sharing. I know, me too. So this is my first night. Well, we actually, our first night would have been last night, but we stayed in because I need to get room service. But girls, I'm not going to lie, I'm finding it really, really difficult. Whatever I've got, I don't feel nice. My feet are so swollen, look. You might be able to see they're like hanging over the edge of these very lovely Gucci shoes, by the way. That's not the point. So this dress is actually from Pretty Little Thing. It's not maternity. I got it in a size, I think, 14. And yeah. I had it taken in slightly here because it was a little bit big, but apart from that, I'm just not really feeling myself, to be honest. I'm not going to lie. I had absolute dramas with my hair. My hair extensions fell out. Long story. <laughs> I just can't take them off. Everything hurts. My feet hurt. In between my legs hurt. My vagina hurts. So we've just got in from a lovely restaurant. So, so nice, but I'm just struggling. Do you feel like I keep moaning, Tom? Yeah. Can't help it though. Good at it. Consistency. I just don't feel the same. I just find it really hard. I don't think you boys realise how hard it is. So like when you go on holiday, you just don't feel yourself. Like, two of my swimsuits that I bought out here don't even fix. I've grown even bigger in the last week since I tried them on. And my feet just kill me. In between my thighs, a red, like, like a rash while I'm chafing. <laughs> so, this is day two's outfit. I've got a very boho chic. So, I'll show you this bikini in a moment. But I've just gone from a white low-waist cheesecloth fabric skirt this is actually high-waisted but i think again by putting it under your bump it's just really cute it makes you look larger or wider should i say when you put it up this is how you would wear it if you wasn't pregnant but as you can see some people might prefer it i just prefer it look it like that show off your beautiful bump and then I got this little cute bardo, very gypsy sort of style top from Topshop. And then under here, I've got a really cute bikini. Actually, this is from the hotel. 
got so many nice bikinis now. I've just turned up with some hoop earrings. So I've had to buy these guys because my feet are so swollen. I've gone one size up in Havana's. At least now my feet can be comfortable. So I've managed to sneak off. I've actually just gone to the loo. Um, but I wanted to do this video round, not round Tom, because I feel bad, because I feel like the last two days I've been moaning quite a bit. I need to give him like a 10 minute break. He's been so good. Honestly, girls, I can't explain to you how important it is <laughs> to have a supportive man when you're pregnant. Like, honestly, he's an absolute dream. He makes me feel so, I could actually get emotional because I've been upset the last two nights and he's just been so good. But it's so important, like, I didn't, I, obviously I've always been into kind of like, the last three years I've been into my health and fitness. So when I've come away, I've always felt really body confident. Outfits have been easy to choose, bikinis. So I wouldn't even have to try things on. I'd like, like, yep, yeah, that bikini fits, that fits. Um, I know my style, but obviously I'm now like three stone heavier than what I usually am. And yes, of course, you're gonna put weight on when you're having a baby, of course you are, but you just, it's like little things, like my, ankle, my ankles, for instance, my ankles are really starting to swell. I know it's probably because of the sun. In between my legs, I'm having to put pseudo cream, like a smother of a night, my, in between my legs, a pseudo cream, because I'm chafing and I'm like walking around, like waddling like this. And it starts off as a bit of joking, it's funny, but like two days into the holiday, it's hard work. Even just to get up now, I'm noticing that I'm getting, I've got sciatica as well. So I get a terrible, like, um, like it's, like, it's like a trapped nerve base in the bottom of my back. And also where the baby's positioned, um, I'm getting like, there's like a nerve in my back as well, where she's she's kind of like, lead, like positioned herself. I'm finding it just really difficult. <laughs> and last night, well, like the last two nights, with, uh, well, last night we went out, we had a lovely, lovely time, but you still don't feel nice. And it's weird, like I put on my Instagram a picture of me in the black dress and everyone's like so complimenting, oh my God, you look so lovely. But if only they knew, well, I'm telling you guys, but if only people knew that literally within half an hour of getting in, I was in tears because I felt so uncomfortable. I don't feel, I don't feel nice. It's such a, such a strange feeling. I know some of you probably be watching this and just thinking, oh, like, Danielle, you should be blessed that you're even having having a baby, and you know these are, these are things that you you just have to deal with when you're pregnant. But it's bloody hard, <laughs> and I know there's a lot of women that watch my um, YouTube channel since uh, maybe you're expecting yourself, um, and I know people watch my channel um, purely because they can. And, and I want to keep it real. This is what the whole channel's about: it is keeping it real and keeping it relatable. Um, it's not, it's not all easy, it really isn't. The second trimester I loved, now this third trimester, it is so hard. Yes, yeah, so the last two nights I have actually been upset where I've just been uncomfortable and just a bit fed up. But it's another day, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, just deal with it. But honestly, I can't explain how amazing Tom has been. But I feel so blessed that obviously it's good I'm actually having a baby with him, but I feel so blessed that he comes into my life because I'm telling you now, even in past relationships, I never felt, even when I was this, the tiniest and I felt, and I felt I looked good because of the relationships I was in in the past, I never felt comfortable. I never felt body confident, probably because they always had a wandering eye, the guys I always picked, and that just made me feel insecure. But I can't explain how important it is, girls. And for those of you that are watching that haven't maybe found your partner that you're gonna spend the rest of your life with, but I can't explain how important it is, how, how like, how I'm real, and how lucky I feel to have someone that just makes me feel so nice. <laughs> I can't believe I'm even crying. But it's true, like, I feel so lucky. Because you do, you don't feel like you don't, I'm gonna take these off. <laughs> you don't. You don't feel yourself at all when you're on holiday like when you're when you're pregnant you feel bigger and like there's girls around the hotel that just look so beautiful and i've got like the short stumpy legs and there's girls around the hotel that look and there's even women that are pregnant and they and i'm like how the how do they look that good as in and i like when they've got long limbs and they just look really long and <clears throat> and they just all will bump like and i'm like waddling because i've got pseudo cream between my legs but like he says to me every day how beautiful I am and and how much um, 
he loves me and and i don't know just like constant reassurance and i can't explain how important that is because i literally have never had that before <sighs> i've got to stop crying because i'm sitting on my own it's really embarrassing but i haven't never had that before and i think it's so important that whoever you choose to be with in life that yeah it doesn't matter about obviously tom's good looking so i'm lucky it's like win-win but just having someone love you for just the way you are and you haven't got to change because when you are pregnant you don't feel you don't feel sexy when you don't feel no matter how many people go oh my god oh you look so good pregnant you just don't feel it so um yeah <laughs> i just can't explain how lucky i feel to have him in my life because he is literally oh he's he's just been amazing and he's actually made this a lot easier and i just wanted to quickly do this video it wasn't even about tom this video was just about keeping it real when you're pregnant on holiday and that to all my my fellow women out there that's expecting i'm with you because it's bloody hard but uh yeah i just wanted to do this video um <laughs> and now i'm sitting here crying right Anyway, no more tears because I've literally cried the last two nights. So we're just having a little bit of lunch. We've got our little routine, haven't we? Yeah. We've chose to sit around the kids' pool. It ain't a kids' pool. It is a kids' pool. It's all kids. The first pool was all adults, really. You not notice that? You're with child, so. I am with child, true. Maybe we're just trying to get the experience of what it's going to be like. Like a screaming kids running around. <laughs> so, yeah, then we, then we sit by the pool for about... Three hours, three, four hours, and come down to the beach for a nice bit of lunch. That's it. It's exactly what I wanted, chilled. I've not had detention yet today, have I? No, the last two days, you had melt, usually your meltdown is usually about nine o'clock, nine, ten o'clock at night. It is. You ordered a beer? Yeah. Get your livos. Check you out, I've got a mocktail. Guys. <laughs> I'm so real.